Hey, y'all, and welcome to the Birmingham Real Estate Market Update. This is the 51st week of us going through and looking at what's happened in the last week in the Birmingham Real Estate state Market in terms of closings and in terms of inventory and in terms of prices. So that's what we're going to do today is look at the last week in review and recap uh, what's happened in the numbers. I just finished a webinar on um, turnkey investing in the Birmingham real estate market. It's one of my specialties is helping investors buy and sell. So that may be coming out uh, on YouTube as a recording in the next uh, few weeks or so. If you're interested in that, be on the lookout for that. And then I'm going to do another webinar on a slightly different subject next week or next month. I'm not sure what that's going to be yet, but be on the lookout. You can always sign up for the next month's webinar at robdrum.us slash webinar. So for the last week, we had uh, 450 closings that compares to 444 closings the same week the previous year. And then you can see here uh, the previous week is running ahead of schedule for the previous year as well at 449 closings versus 345. And that makes sense because this time last year, we were just getting into our lockdown, full on quarantine. And it's kind of, I was still amazed that anyone was closing transactions. We were closing deals in parking lots and doing all kinds of funny things, strange things. So it's really uh, not a surprise that we're closing more transactions right now. What is a surprise is obviously what's happened to home prices as they've skyrocketed over the last year, but also what's happening to the available listings that are on the market. You can see for the last week, they just continue to drop and drop. And we finally dropped below 1900 available listings on the market today as of the time that I pulled these uh, active listing information off of our MLS. And you can see uh, actually a huge jump in the number of homes that are contingent under contract pending. So homes are selling. They are, as you can see in these numbers, uh, of numbers of closings. Homes are definitely selling, but they are not sitting on the market whatsoever. And a lot of times they will go under contract and into this category the first day that they're on the market. Uh, so I really think when we recap the numbers for April uh, in about two weeks, I think we're gonna see a median days on market drastically lower. And by the end of the summer, I wouldn't be surprised if we're at a median days on market around two or three days. Uh, maybe even less because uh, just everything is going straight past this active listing status, not staying there very long at all, going straight under the contingent status. And uh, so we'll see how that unfolds over the rest of this summer. Usually the market heats up as we get into the summer and we aren't even there yet. So it'll be interesting to watch. Uh, that's really all I have today. We're not going to get into uh, economic stimulus or any updates on that front. So thank you all for watching. I'd love it if you would subscribe to this channel. Uh, I will keep doing these videos as well as my Birmingham Real Estate Investors Roundup, which I put out every Wednesday. That's more uh, case studies and available rental property and investment uh, listing inventory. So you can scoop it up uh, sometimes even before it hits this active status and uh, put it into this contingent status for yourself. So uh, a lot of you would like this video. Thank you for your time today and I will see you next week.